Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint. Using Ambilight Rejection Technology Gain times 578. This right here is a new screen paint we have developed. The screen paint is designed for ultra short though, short though, and laser projectors. Over here, I'm using my Casio 2500 lumen laser projector. And this is a screen paint we to have design be dedicated for certain types of projectors. Now, this was requested by a few companies that we are working with, and also too, we had a few customers that were wondering if we could design a dedicated form of um, ultra short though short though and laser projector screen paint, and here it is. And like I said, fully lit environment as always. This is the way I like to test my screens with as much ambient light as possible. I find it much more challenging. Now I'm using my Casio laser projector at 2500 lumen, 720p. Please check out the video below. I did use this projector right here, which is my short throw. And right now I'm in the process of actually ordering a uh, ultra short throw projector, another Epson uh, 470, which will be coming very shortly. Now, yes, we're used to designing black technology screens. Screens involving all forms of, uh, uh, well, I like designing black technology, but like I said, um, we try to keep things, uh, um, we try to cater to our customers the best way possible we can. And we've had a few customers asking for still having that dark technology, but they wanted a screen that we can construct that would be uh, dedicated for ultra short throw projection screens. And also ultra, ultra short throw projectors, sorry about that. And this will allow you to be able to turn any screen you want into an ultra short throw or laser or short throw projection screen. And of course, we're going to be doing some demonstrations outside, so what's the point of actually designing this technology if we're not going to take it outside? Now, I still stand by what I say. I do believe that black technology is the best way to go. But as I said before, with this technology, as you can see, look how dark it is. It's a very, very, very dark gray. And it has a bit of an interesting twist to it, too. And it also has a very interesting color code design to it to keep it from being mimicked. Showing from a different angle, right next to the light. Keep in mind, we have light not peppered out in far distances. We have light all the way around the screen, so you see there's light everywhere in the environment. And the projector I'm using is only at 2,500 lumens. Now, if you're curious, have a peek at the projector. There it is, in my lamp-free Casio projector, right there. Now, the new screen paint will be available probably around mid next week. Uh, we will have it available in uh, one quart and two quarts. In two quarts, you can paint up to a screen size of 150 inches. I like doing this particular scenery right here, it's really beautiful.
Now I've done this demonstration already on the short throw behind me so you get a chance to see it on both on the short throw and on the long throw 2500 lumen laser projector. You can see with all the lights on the environment, that's not going to discourage the picture whatsoever. A lot of people don't realize this, depending on how much light you have in your environment, even a projector of 2,500 lumens or 3,000 lumens or 3,700 lumens, you're not going to have that by the time you hit the screen, depending on how much light you have in the environment. You're probably going to have way less than that, and that's why your screen looks faded, it looks washed out, and that's why you have to do your, uh, you have to watch your movies, or not movies, but TV shows and so forth, things you're going to be watching with the lights on as you would do with your TV. You have to do that with the, um, the lights off. Because, like I said, you're not going to have 2,500 lumens or 27 or 28 or even 32 by the time you hit the screen, depending on how much light you have in the environment. That's how many lumens you're going to drop before you actually make it to the destination of the screen. The screen's going to have to produce a high enough gain for you're going to be able to see a decent picture or a colorful picture. And this is why with this technology, you always get the best. Now, I think my customers who requested this and a few companies that we actually are tied to um, who wanted a dedicated ultra short throw, short throw in laser screen paint is going to be more than satisfied with this. The screen looks absolutely incredible. And this will allow you to turn. Keep in mind, this is going to be a one coat application. There's no spray on. This is a roll on application. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration of Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration. I think I said that twice. Thank you all for your time. Uh, the new Ultra Short Throw Dedicated Screen Paint will be available next week. Um, I will be doing some demonstrations soon on an Ultra Short Throw Projector. I have one over here in the corner, but this one's set up a little different. But I am going to set something up pretty cool. I do have a short, ultra short throw projector coming in, but that one's a little interesting on how I had to set it up so I can use it. Literally, I have to mount it up over the screen because that one has a bit of a different settings and the option. So I'm doing, I am planning to get another one. Yeah, let me just walk in front of the, real quick. A lot of people think it's black. That's actually not black. That's actually an extremely, dark gray screen but they do come up black let me show you the angle let me show you how much light we have in our environment a lot of light come over here for a minute back up that's for another demonstration, not today, but for another time. You can see it has the ability to pull up amazing contrast. Put something special in this one form of technology. Now, when I people ask me, can I use this with a long throw projector? Yes, you can. You can use it with an everyday long throw projector, but keep in mind contrast is going to be much higher on the black technology than it is on this one because keep in mind it is black. And it is going to be able to reflect black screens and actually take on more light. It can take on much more. But these are designed for ultra short throw. Ultra short throw doesn't have to be that far away from the screen.
That's why I like having that huge spotlight. This is an actual spotlight up on my ceiling. So I got as close to the screen as I possibly can. Make sure I got as much light as possible hitting the screen. There's no point in having this all dark and then over in the corner having a little light here and light here. I want as much light in the environment as possible. And the walls, it's best that they are bone white because white walls actually reflect 10 times more light and that's what I want. So this projector at 2500 lumens is going to travel from here and hit the screen with all this light and still come back with a beautiful picture. All right, I'm gonna leave out of here real quick. I got much to do, I gotta to get to the uh, post office real quick. I got packages to drop off today. I'd like to thank you all for your time and uh, just keep looking out. It'll be here fairly soon. Also, we got some other um, projects coming up really quick. The inflatable screens are gonna be launching on the first. Um, these uh, portable screens with the grommets uh, those screens will be available pretty soon, somewhere around uh, this coming week coming up. And also, too, I'm going to be doing a 140-inch and a 100-inch screen very soon. I'd like to thank you all for your time again. You have a blessed day. you got to go.